back at the United States Figure Skating Championships in Cincinnati, where a crowd of some 15,000 people is watching a 16-year-old 11th grader from El Segundo High School in California make her bid for a place on the world team. Her name, Carrie Rue. She's in third place, coming to this final free skating phase. This is Jim McKay reporting with Dick Mutt. And I will say, Jim, that this is a very striking, beautifully skating young lady. Look at this sit spin. Watch her change foot now. She jumped into a back sit spin. She's a very well-rounded skater. She's stylish, she's pretty, she's a good jumper. Her choreography is good. I think we're going to see a great deal of her in the future. here she moves first into an axle a split jump look at the stretch and the split on that very nice half loop double toe loop double toe loop and the final move of her program first a camel nice position nice style sit spin the position that Linda Fratiani has made popular and the final fast spin bad for a 16-year-old, eh? Harry Rude. We're watching the senior ladies' competition in the U.S. Figure Skating Championships. You know, uh, Dick, I think sometimes when parents who have a youngster who's seriously interested in figure skating see us commenting on these shows, hear us talk about the dedication, the long years of training and so forth, they wonder, you know, should I let my youngster go into this? Because can they do it? Can they become a champion and still be a well-rounded person? Well, I think that unless they are a well-rounded person, they'll have a much greater difficult be difficulty being a champion. They must keep a fresh look. They must bring other elements into their life if they are going to maintain a fresh look towards the sport and not become stale. And of course, the sport is particularly suited to that because of its interest in music and choreography and style and theatrics, etc. For that reason, I think it definitely is possible. Well, you certainly can think of a lot of examples like that in the ladies' division going back a few years. Tenley Albright, who not only became a successful wife and mother, but a practicing surgeon. Absolutely. So you've seen a lot of examples of that. Here's Linda Fradiani warming up right now in defense of her title. She looks beautiful tonight. Great costume. And here is her chief competition, Lisa Marie Allen. We'll be seeing...